welcome to one and all i am vasanta department of computer science gopal swami pu college mysore today we will start with fifth session of pointer chapter in the previous sessions we explained regarding what do you mean by pointer advantages of pointer memory allocation what do you mean by new operator delete operator all those things already you came to know today we will explain regarding string and pointers before starting this string and pointer i just want to recall the previous thing whereas pointer is a variable it stores the memory address of another variable bere vandu variable the memory address na store maarkolutte in this we have few advantages it helps to deals with program efficient program can be written helps to deals with hardware component dynamic memory allocation and deallocation is possible here these are a few advantages already we explained then what do you mean by dynamic memory allocation here the memory will be allocated at the time of execution whereas static memory allocation means the memory will be allocated before the execution of the program then with that we explained regarding new operator delete operator what is the difference between array and pointers all those things we explained today we will explain regarding strings and pointers pointer definition already you came to know that it's a variable it stores the memory address of another variable bere vandu variable the memory address na store maadkolutte aa bere variable yav jagdalli ide adike eshtu space beku anodra bage information namge pointers mulka sigutte then what do you mean by string where a string is a collection of characters it's a sequence of characters ends with null character at the end we have null character from that i can say it's a string whereas characters means a single character it is opened as well as closed by single quotes for example if i'm going to take n is a character it is opened as well as closed by single quotes for example name i am to call it as a string because here it is a collection of characters and it is opened as well as closed by double quotes from that i can say it as a string whereas string what is the main thing here string is a sequence of characters ends with null character then what do you mean by pointer it stores the memory address of another variable is it no then when the come on strings and pointer there is a close relationship between string as well as pointer for example if i am going to take a character format char s of 6 it is a array of character if you want you can take s otherwise a whatever name for the string for the array you want you can take here here i am to take char a of 6 it is array is it no because here total it contains six characters of six characters of character format by the name a for example here i am initializing it as hello for example i am to initializing it as hello then what is the memory address of all these characters for example if i have a characters hello h e l l o at the end null character always i told you for a string it is ends with null character first h e l l o then null the first character that is yes first character h is identified by with the memory location a of 0 second one a of 1 a of 2 a of 3 this is a of 4 and this is a of 5 a of 5 That's clear. Whereas in this, when they come on array and pointer, especially the compiler, the system will store the address of only the first variable. For the remaining variable, it will add how many number of values, how many position it wants. By that, it will get add and it will get the address of the remaining elements. Again, the compiler, the model name character, the matra, for example, H, the matra address is not stored. Mark it. Only the first. name first character address only it will store 
and with that the remaining all can be identified by adding by number of units. For example, first one is 0, then the second one becomes a plus 1 add. Marthi. Third one becomes a plus 2 add. Marthi. Like that, by adding number of units, I can able to identify the address of the remaining element. Whereas the name of that array is also stores the address of first element. The name of the array contains the address of first element. And the A and the Kuda, Madhulne element in the address in the store mark. Now is it clear? Next we will take cat star CPTR. We are declaring CPTR is a pointer variable. Pointer variable. How I can identify the pointer variable? Before CPTR, you have star operator. Then CPTR equals, equals A. Because A contains the address of first element. Here we have three statements. Char A of 6 equals hello. Then char we are creating on pointer variable CPTR. For that pointer variable equals A. Because A contains address of the first element. Then what exactly the A contains? A contains the address of H. Where exactly it is present. That is A contains address of H. Then how to identify the address of the next element? This is E for example. E plus plus increment operator equals. It gives the address of the next element. Address of E we can get. Now so clear. How to access the value inside this? Star a. Now we will get H value. Now star A plus plus gives value E. E value we can able to get. Now is it clear? This is regarding string and pointer concept. Now is it clear? Next we will explain regarding pointers as well as functions. Uh, in the first POC you have studied regarding functions. What do you mean by function, how to access, which are the types of functions, all those things you have studied in first POC. Now we will explain regarding functions and pointers. Functions and pointers. Functions and pointers. What do you mean by functions? Then function is a set of statements. It will perform specific task. After the task, we will get a single result or we may go to get list of result also. Function is a set of statements. Set of statements. After doing the calculation, it will generate the result. A functions can be called in two methods in generally that is pass by value as well as pass by reference. Whereas in this, we will have two types. One is pass by pass by reference runs pass by reference and the second one is pass by pointer pass by reference and one more is pass by pointer if you want to know this concept, then if you know the concept pass by value as well as pass by reference, then it will be easy for you to identify the difference between pass by reference as well as pass by pointer. In first place, you will study Madhidra, pass by value as well as pass by reference. I am going to recall and then I am to continue with this thing. General again, pass by value, pass by reference, and then rain. One example, Kortevi. In pass by value, the main program, the main program as the values from the sub program, then the sub program will send a copy of the data to the main program and it will work on that. If there is any change made in the main program that not affects the original data here. In call by value, give an example. I want to arrange one function. One function arrange that is the function. My A. Now again, Martini, in call by value, I am saying main program and get data back on the head of the sub program or data to work out. Main program, for example, I am the main program, 
ಯು ಆರ್ ದ ಸಬ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಮೈ ಟು ಅರೇಂಜ್ ದ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ನಾನು ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೆ ಸಬ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ಹೇಳುವಾಗ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸಬ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಏನೇನು ಆರ್ಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ಸನ್ನ ಬೇಕು ಅದನ್ನು ಮೇನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮನ್ನು ಕೇಳುತ್ತೆ ವೆರ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಅವಾಗ ಏನು ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಮೇನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸೆಂಡ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಮೇನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ದೆನ್ ಸಬ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಕಾಪಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಗ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಡೆಕೋರೇಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಹೇಳುವಾಗ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಬೇಕಾಗಿರೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ಸು ಡಿಸೈನ್ಸು ಎಲ್ಲ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇಂಥ ಕಡೆ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಹೇಳ್ತೇನೆ ಮೇನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಸಬ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಕಡೆ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಅಲ್ಲಿರೋ ಡೇಟಾ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ತೊಗೊಳೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಇಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಅ ಕಾಪಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಅವಾಗ ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ಏನು ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಮೇನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಇಂಥ ಕಡೆ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಕೂಡ ಸಬ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಅದರದ್ದು ಕಾಪಿ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ವರ್ಕೌಟ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಯಾವ ಕಲ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಕಲರ್ ಇಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಅದೇ ಥರದ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಕಾಪಿ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ಆ ಕಾಪಿಲಿ ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ವರ್ಕೌಟ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಿ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸೆಂಡ್ ಅ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ದ ಮೇನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನಿ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಬ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ನೋ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಮೇನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಇಂಥ ಕಡೆ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಕೂಡ ಸಬ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡಿರುತ್ತೆ ಇಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಅ ಕಾಪಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾಪಿ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನಿ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಬ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ದಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಕಾಪಿ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅದರದ್ದು ಕಾಪಿ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ವರ್ಕೌಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಎನಿ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಬ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಬೈ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಬೈ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಮೇನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸೆಂಡ್ ದ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ಕಾಲ್ ಬೈ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಮೇನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಇಂಥ ಕಡೆ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಕೂಡ ಸಬ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಅದರದ್ದು ಕಾಪಿ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ವರ್ಕೌಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಇನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಬೈ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಬೈ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸೆಂಡ್ ದ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ವೇರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇಂಥ ಕಡೆ ಡೇಟಾ ಇದೆ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ವರ್ಕೌಟ್ ಮಾಡುವಂಥ ಮೇನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಸಬ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ಗೆ ದೆನ್ ಸಬ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋಟ್ ಟು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ಕಾಪಿ ದೇರ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಮೇನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ಸನ್ನು ಕಳಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಆ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ರಿಂದ ಡೇಟಾ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ವರ್ಕೌಟ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ದೆನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಕಾಪಿ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಮತ್ತು ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ದ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನಿ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಬ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ಡೇಟಾನೇ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ವರ್ಕೌಟ್ ಮಾಡಿರುತ್ತೆ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ಡೇಟಾನೇ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ವರ್ಕೌಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಆಬ್ವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಬೈ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ವಿಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಬೈ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಬೈ ಪಾಯಿಂಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಬೈ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎಪನ್ಸ್
passed by reference. What happens? The main program will send the address of the data. The sub program will take the data by some other name and it will work on that in pass by reference. Now is it clear? Andre main program only calls to address all the data is there. Other data na tagolate but by some other name and it will work on that. If there is any change made in the sub program that also affects the main program also in pass by reference. Whereas in pass by pointer there also the main program will send the address of the data. The sub program will take the data from that address and it will work on that. If there is any change made in the sub program that also affects the main program also. But the main difference here it takes the data by some other name whereas here it takes the data by the same name and it will work on that. Are in call by value lena gatte that is in pass by value there the main program will send the address of the data but the sub program will take the copy of the data and it will work on that that is in call by value. Now is it clear? This is call by or pass by reference, pass by pointer. Now we will explain with one example program then it will be more clear for you. For example, I want to perform swapping of two numbers. What do you mean by swapping, interchanging? For example, consider A memory position and one more is B memory position. Here I am having 10, here I am having 20. I want to interchange the value of these two memory position. Then what I have to do? Interchange Marbekar as it is. Then what I will do? I will take one temporary memory. Temporary place I am going to create. In first stage, whatever value in A that I will move to temporary place. Now this place becomes empty. After that, the B value will occupy A position. Now after this, the B value will move to A. Now it becomes 20. Afterwards, the temporary place, whatever value we have, that will move to position B. Now see clear, this is by using third variable, we are swapping, we are interchanging the value of two numbers. That will explain now pass by reference method. First as usual, we have to start with the header file ash include iostream dot h header file. Next ash include conio dot h header file. This is a supporting header file for clear screen as well as get cs function and this is a supporting header file for cm as well as cout function. Next we are going to start with void mean. We are going to start with void main. Here we are creating the prototype. What do you mean by prototype? Before using that function, declaration of that function is called as prototype. Now here I am going to creating that is void. Swap is the program name. Here in ampersand reference. Pass by reference. We are referring the address. One more variable in ampersand. Now is it clear? Here you have to put semicolon. This is nothing but prototype declaration. Prototype. And the function use model the kumunche. A function has no return type no yayo the values there. And the hello the no prototype and the hell. Now afterwards I am creating, I am initializing. For example, x equals 10, then y equals 20. We are initializing. Now before swapping, see out. What will be the value of A that is X and Y I want to display. Then insertion operator inside the double quotes before swapping. Before swapping display the A value as well as B value that is C out. Insertion operator inside the double quotes A equals a, that is A or X, Y, whatever value you tick that you can display. That is X equals, it has to display inside the double quotes. Then X value has to be displayed, X. Then next, and B value equals to insert, insertion operator inside the double quotes. And B, A, Y equals, display the Y value. X value here we are displayed, then Y value we have to display. 
then call the sub function this is a prototype declaration now call this function that is void swap here x comma y x comma y we are calling the function now then after swapping see out after swapping display a and b value that is c out call the sub program this is a sub program prototype declaration now we are called the sub program now afterwards display the value that is x equals display the x value display the x value then next and y equals y equals display the y value then get ch close the main program this is a main program now we will write the sub program what is the sub program that is swap is a sub program function is nothing but set of statement it will perform specific task after performing the task it will generate the result now what is the sub program here void swap int ampersand x int ampersand y ampersand x and ampersand y now here declare the variable the one more variable we required that is term then int term now perform swapping operation temp equals x already i told you for example this is x and this is y here i am having 10 here i am having 20 first stage what i will do whatever value in x that i will move to temporary position this is considered as a 10 first step whatever value in x that i will move to temporary position now is it clear next after that x equals y whatever value in y that we will move to x position now it is 20 here this become free now now is it clear afterwards y equals temp whatever value in temporary place we have that we will move here in the next stage the temporary value we will move to y how is it clear in blind method you can remember these two become xx and this to become yy first and last represent temp like this swapping will perform this is regarding pass by reference then in pass by value especially sorry in pass by pointers what are the things may be different on the place of ampersand here we have star operator pointer operator and here also there will be change and here also there will be change next now we'll explain pass by pointer concept now is it clear for all of you next we'll explain pass by pointer in pass by pointer second one there what are the changes here we have here one more change here also one more change on this we have to write what are the things and here also it will change us and here also there will be changes now i'm going to explain the first one yes now in pass by pointer as usual first we want to declare the header file void main void swap int star x int star y whereas in pass by reference what we are written just ampersand here we are written whereas here the star operator which is the operator then star operator we have to write in star pass by pointer then as usual we are initializing the value here before swapping what is the value that it will display then call the function that is void swap ampersand x ampersand y then after swapping what will the x value and y value it has to be displayed now in the main sub program swap int star x int star y whereas in the previous case we are written ampersand x ampersand y that is reference there is a difference between star operator and ampersand operator where a star operator will store the address of another variable here also it will store the address only but here it stores address of its own variable other the other variable address in the store mark then here we are initializing we are just that is we are declaring 
temp, then temp equals star x, star x equals star y, star y equals temp. This is regarding your pass by pointer concept. Now is it clear? Once again to recall, in pass by reference, the main program will send the reference address to the sub program. The sub program will take the value from that reference address by different name and it will work on that. If there is any change made in the sub program, that also affects the main program also in call by reference. Hagandre main program address na kalsate, reference na kalsate. Sub program ade reference address ali data na by it will take by some other name and it will work on that. If there is any change made in the sub program that also affects the main program also in call by reference or pass by reference. In pass by pointer what happens? The main program will send the address of the data to the sub program and the sub program will take the data from that address by the same name and it will work on that. If there is any change made in the sub program that also affects the main program also. This is regarding your pass by reference as well as pass by pointer. Now is it clear for all of you? Thank you.